The world record average he thought he had was taken away. And now for the second time, he needs to clutch a sub five on demand to get the first ever sub five average. Today, I'll be breaking down Timon Kalashinsky's 4.86 world record average, the first sub five. It's been a long time coming for Timon, who just became European champion and broke the European record single a couple weeks ago. Please go check out Timon's channel for the full video, including reactions. This first solve starts with a blue X cross, making use of these three nearly solved cross pieces, this free pair in the front and this fourth cross piece. We can also plan the second pair with this corner and this edge, which will solve into this back slot. And since this corner here will be unaffected by the solution of the X cross and second pair, we can plan the third pair by finding the edge that goes with it and solving it into this slot after the first two pairs. So we'll start by aligning the D layer, solving those first three cross pieces, then inserting this free pair and inserting the final cross edge, solving the X cross and setting up the second pair to solve in the back. And here's the edge that goes with that corner that we tracked. So inserting these two and here's the final pair, which we'll insert into the left. And for this OLL edge orientation, setting up to ZB, but instead of finishing EO by inserting this pair, Timon canceled into the ZB directly. This second solve starts with a white X cross, making use of these two relatively solved cross pieces, this third cross piece and the free pair that goes with it, and the fourth cross piece. You could also plan the second and third pairs by solving this edge and tracking these pieces here to set up the pseudo pair we'll look at later. So we start by moving this cross edge up, solving these two, moving this pair over and this edge over here. So the edge is here, this pair can be solved and now solving this cross edge and this edge. So now we set up the pseudo pair. So you can see here that these two will pair into a pseudo pair in this slot. But first we have to insert the corner into here. So inserting the corner, setting up the pseudo pair. So we have an unsolved corner and an unsolved edge. And they're paired together. So we misalign the D layer. Solve those together and realign. Next, the fourth pair. So solving this to orient those edges, a nice soon, and L perm. This third solve also starts with a white X cross, making use of this cross edge block, the pair that goes with it, these two relatively solved cross pieces, and the fourth cross edge here. We'll also set up this free pair to be solved second. So starting by solving this block and bringing the edge up, solving these three relatively, and setting up an X cross. Now inserting this final cross edge while inserting this edge here and preserving this pair. Inserting the edge, preserving the pair, and inserting the final cross piece. Now solving this pair into the back. This pair. And now ZBLS. and ZBLL. It was later discovered that this fourth solve was a misscramble, and due to WCA policy on filmed world records, he was required to do an extra solve on an extra scramble to replace this misscrambled time. The world record average he thought he had was taken away, and now for the second time, he needs to clutch a sub five on demand to get the first ever sub five average. And now the greatest solve of all time, solving white cross and planning several pairs in inspection. I won't show you how he might track these pairs. I'll just show you the solve. Watch and enjoy. ZBLS 
and a fluid transition into soon and T perm. And that is the world record average, the first ever official sub five. Beautifully done by Timon. And he used some great techniques in this average. Well-deserved, congratulations.